This is a guide on reinstalling the front assembly on the Apple iPhone 5C. For the reinstallation process, we will need the following tools. Pentalobe screwdriver, suction cup, plastic pick, Phillips screwdriver and flat screwdriver. The front assembly contains the frame, the glass digitizer and the LCD screen. We highly recommend replacing the entire front assembly if any of these components need replacing. Turn off the phone by holding the power button and confirming shutdown on the screen. Remove the two screws on bottom of the phone with a pentalobe screwdriver. Set the screws aside. Place a suction cup at the bottom of the device. Pull on the suction cup and insert the plastic pick between the front assembly and the main body. Gently move the plastic pick along the bottom edge, separating the front assembly off the main body. Once separation is achieved, open the iPhone as a book to a right angle. For the safe reinstallation process, we need to disconnect the battery. The battery connector is located under a narrow metal shield. Hold the front assembly vertically and remove two tiny screws holding the shield in place. Keep track of all screws. Remove the metal shield. Disconnect the battery. In order to separate the front assembly from the main body, we need to gain access to its connectors under a small EM shield. Remove the four Phillips screws while holding the front assembly at a right angle to the main body. Set the shield aside. Next step is to open the three small connectors. Take a flat screwdriver and gently open the connectors one by one. Separate the front assembly and place it on the desk. Take a replacement part and put it beside. Remove the protective film. Before we can discard the old screen, we have to transfer the large metal shield, home button, front camera and earpiece onto the new replacement part. Start with the home button. Remove the two Phillips screws holding a metal shield. The shield is also glued to the front assembly. Use a knife to gently separate it. Set the shield aside. Use a plastic pick to separate the home button. Transfer the button onto the replacement part. Take the metal shield and put it in place, lining it up with two little guiding pegs on the right. Secure the shield with two Phillips screws. Next step is to transfer the webcam and the earpiece. They are secured with a metal bracket and two Phillips screws. Remove the screws and set the bracket aside. Remove the earpiece. The camera is glued to the large metal shield, so we have to transfer them both onto the replacement part. Start removing the screws holding the metal shield. There are two screws on the right side, two on the left, one screw in the bottom and one on top. Keep track of all the screws that we are removing. Gently separate the metal shield with the attached webcam. Discard the old front assembly. Place the metal shield onto the replacement part and align it with the mounting holes. Guide the webcam into its slot. Use the guiding pegs at the top to make sure that all elements are in the right position. Secure the metal shield with screws. Replace the earpiece. Snap in the mounting bracket and replace two Phillips screws. Now we can connect the front assembly to the main body. Position the front assembly at a right angle to the main body, aligning it to the top edge of the phone. Hold the assembly vertically and gently snap in all three connectors. Caution! 
it is very important not to force any connectors. All connectors are very fragile. Replace the metal shield. Secure it with four Phillips screws. Reconnect the battery. At this point, we can test the device. Turn the phone on, and if the startup graphics appear, the replacement part is installed correctly. Hold the power button to cancel the boot up and confirm shutdown on screen. Replace the metal shield covering the battery connector. Secure it with two Phillips screws. Close the phone and slide the front assembly into the groove. Replace the two pentilobe screws at the bottom. Remove the protective film, turn the phone on and you're done.